Mr. Chairman and uh, Wafula Chepukati and the returning officer for the presidential election this year, 2022, members of the commission, um, my friends and distinguished colleagues in UDA and the Kenya Kwanzaa Fraternity, dear Kenyans, I am delighted this morning to receive the certificate that will allow Kenya Kwanzaa and myself to participate with, with my very able deputy in this year's general election. Um, Mr. Chairman and our returning officer, I want to say in this uh, podium that Kenya Kwanzaa has confidence in the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. We are confident that you are up to the task. I also want to commit that my team in Kenya Kwanzaa and I will work with you diligently so that we can have a credible, free, fair, democratic, and verifiable election. Anytime you need um, our cooperation or in any way our support, Mr. Chairman, I want to tell you we are available. I have appointed responsible, professional lady and gentlemen to be our liaison between Kenya Kwanzaa and IBC. Professor Kedure Kendiki, who is here, will be our chief agent, assisted by Veronica Miner and Josphat Nanok. These are the ladies and gentlemen who will work with you, making sure that the communication, the relationship between us as candidates and the IEBC is useful, is helpful in making sure that we run the length and breadth of this election without hitches. We are looking forward to uh, working with you. I want to ask all our supporters across the country that this is a moment of our lifetime and we must do everything to protect it from violence, from unnecessary sideshows. We must keep our eyes on the ball and avoid unnecessary engagements and being sidetracked or being um, engaged in unnecessary shouting matches and contests that are outside the focus on the election that we are focused in. I want to ask all our Kenya Kwanzaa supporters, the UDA supporters, and all our affiliate parties in Kenya Kwanzaa to focus on the imminent win God will grant us in this election. Um, Mr. Chairman, we are committed to the code of conduct that we have signed to keep this election above board. We are confident in your stewardship and that of IEBC in the elections of 2020. 
2022. Let me also finally say, uh, Mr. Chairman, we will, as and when we come across issues, we will forward them to you in a formal manner so that we can address any issue that may come along the way as we go to this uh, election. And let me also say that um, on behalf of Kenya Kwanzaa, we, we do not want to be favored. We want to be treated fairly, like everybody else. We are not asking for what is more than is fair and that is a right to us. Respectfully, we want to request our friends in the fourth state, the media. We want to request them to be fair. So far, we have been treated unfairly by some media houses. We respect the decision of whatever media house to have a candidate in this election. We respect their decision, but they should be decent and declare that they have a candidate in this election. I think it is the most decent thing to do. Um, we have raised these concerns, and through you, Mr. Chairman, we want to raise these concerns. The IBC has a duty to make sure the, um, that there is a level playing ground for all participants in these elections. All candidates should be treated fairly. Um, when some media houses, like for example Citizen, they give our competitors 10 minutes of air time, and they give us one minute, I mean, it flies in the face of integrity and fairness and balance, you know. When uh, Daily Nation and Inoro and uh, Kameme do whatever it is they are doing, we have no problem with them taking whatever position they take, but they should be honorable and say, in this election, they have chosen, they have chosen a side so that as Kenyans watch their news, as citizens read their headlines, and as Kenyans listen to their issues, they should be informed that these are media houses that have taken sides. Let me repeat again, we have absolutely no problem with them taking any side but they should be fair and honorable and decent and declare so. Um, recently, um, we, we are being told about a presidential debate and we have raised concerns. Yes, I saw yesterday they told us that this is a podium or this is a platform that is supposed to assist the people of Kenya to understand the candidates and their issues and their ideas and so that Kenyans can choose on the basis of information and knowledge. But to be fair, if the presidential debate is being organized by a media that has taken sides by people who already have skewed the playing field in favor of one side. What moral authority do they have to ask the rest of us who are not their candidates to attend a prearranged, pre-rigged presidential debate? I mean, surely. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not too much to ask. 
We're just asking for fairness. If you have decided to choose a side, organize a presidential debate for that side. Don't expect... Don't expect us... Don't expect us to come and sanitize a, a, a debate that you have already skewed with the coverage of your news. I think we're just asking to be, to, be, to be treated fairly. And we have absolutely no problem with whatever you do. We already have uh, to surmount huge challenges. Uh, we already have the so-called deep state. We already have the so-called system. We don't mind any other hurdles. We've overcome those uh, before. We will overcome it again. Finally, fin yes, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Finally, uh, let me again repeat that uh, as Kenya Kwanzaa, we are going the, into this election with a lot of clarity and we will work with all Kenyans. And I want to ask the people of Kenya to participate in this election, whichever side you are, know that this is our country. It is our responsibility to keep it safe, to keep it peaceful, all of us, irrespective of who you want to vote for or irrespective of which side you belong. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Uh, just want to, uh, to say that, uh, as you rightly point out, you have now signed the Electoral Code of Conduct, and the party has also ascribed to the same. Now, the Electoral Code of Conduct places responsibility on the candidates and the parties to uh, conduct themselves with the decorum, as uh, you go on 